G'day folks, this is Sim. Welcome to Minecraft Done From Down Under and welcome to round two of Jaded Cat's Magic Farm 3. And I have just spawned into a brand new world and I'm going to have to um, get myself set up fairly quickly. Now there's been quite a few changes um, and one of the major changes and the reason we're in a brand new world is the addition of oh sharks everywhere. This could be very very painful. Uh, yes, as I was saying one of the additions is the addition of the Highlands Biomes mod which um, I have tweaked a little bit to give us some uh, prettier generation. Um, we also now have mo creatures to deal with, but probably the main reason that I've changed over is that with the updates there has been some breaks to my um, tinker tools, which, oh, careful, I want to go over here, which I can't really get around. So with all of the changes, as we discussed earlier, I am starting fresh. So what I'm going to be doing, because I'm not going to put you through all of the basics all over again, let's get up higher, I think, and have a good look around. Although we do have to be careful because this is Magic Farm, which means pretty much everything wants to kill us. So we just keep our eyes open for chickens and cows and other horrible, horrible monsters probably more scary than the sharks to be honest Ooh. okay I probably can work our way around here if I'm careful if I don't keep falling down looks like there's a lot of trees so hopefully not too many spawns and there's some food let's grab that straight away Okay, interesting. Now, uh, what I am going to do, as I was about to say before, uh, while the terrain's loading in, there's a village over there, which is a good sign, is I'm going to basically be doing a little bit of a montage um, as I um, work my way as quickly as I can back up to approximately where we were in the last series. As I was saying, I don't want to put you through it all again, uh, but I don't want to miss out on anything that's really cool. Um, so, just to cover the changes that have been made, um, it's pretty much vanilla magic farm. I've tweaked the biome generation a little bit just to give us a little bit more variation. Uh, also, to um, reduce the instances of some of the really extreme biomes, but I've also reduced the instances of plains and um, general forests and other things and bumped a couple up so that we're getting just a little bit more variation than what tends to be quite common plains and forests and a lot of biome generation in 1.7 modded. Uh, the other thing that I've done is I've made some changes to um, the COFH um, generation because there was some really crazy um, amounts of gravel being generated in some biomes. So I've thinned that out a little bit. So what I'm going to do from here, as I said, is I'm going to keep recording, um, but I'm only going to be cutting... Um, uh, in and out for things that are interesting however I do have one thing in mind that I will be doing what I'm going to be doing is enabling the death counter so first thing that we have to do are uh, the miscraft profiling is completed that's going to help with my lag situation a lot is we need to open to LAN we need to temporarily turn cheats on and everything else should be fine so we're gonna start a land world I should now hopefully be able to do this and what I need to do is whoops need to be careful 
first I need to turn on the um, the death count and then the next thing that I need to do and I just need to grab the command because I'm not going to type it all in that's for sure and pop that in there and that will allow it to display in the sidebar now it shouldn't actually come up until I die the first time if my memory serves me correctly but that way you'll get a running count of exactly what's going on now I'm not sure what was just down there I can definitely see something floating around oh look okay it looks like a hamster or something wonder if it wants to kill me who knows what it is it could be a bug just as easily but this is magic farm everything wants to kill me so as I was saying um, I'm going to go and find somewhere to get set up and I will be doing a montage uh, along the way so there's going to be lots of cuts in and out and um, hopefully we'll be back and running fairly soon just spent my first night in a hole and I've woken up to this fella and I've done the very basic tinkers start um, but obviously that wasn't a particularly useful weapon and that guy who was living armor from menagerie was tough and I don't think he dropped anything so I suppose I'm just gonna have to continue on might grab a little bit of clay while I'm here and maybe some food anyway see you soon okay so I did make it to that village and it certainly helped out when it's come to food and a few other bits and pieces nothing particularly special um, I did manage to make myself up a bronze broadsword out of the bits and pieces that I found here and I was forced to uh, trash uh, one of their buildings to get some wool to make a bed because the sleep factor in um, magic farmers kicked in and if I'm not sleeping I'm completely blind the biggest problem I've got now is that I am full and I mean seriously full so I need to find some string because with some string I can make myself up a, um, a bag uh, to carry some stuff around with but that's going to be a case of either finding oh that's a snake over there uh, it's going to be finding uh, a tree like one of these ones um, not oh that snake now I'm curious is that guy going to be aggroed on me probably don't want to find out right about now do we so we're looking for a, 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 a dark oak tree that's got some cobwebs which means taking on the spiders of course or um, some flowers or maybe if we're lucky we might score um, some cotton gardens can't pick up any more food at the moment so that tree there is not helping me out if we have a look at the map and now I'm getting a little full by the way so yeah, if we have a quick look at the map you can see I haven't done a lot of exploring at this particular point in time got some bad guys over here uh, and where's that tree that's that one there might be another one back there that I missed no that's right there let's have a closer look at that yeah okay so they're not quite as easy to see on the map as they have been in the past but anyway there's definitely no cobwebs on that one so I'm gonna to have to keep moving I want to find a place to set up the Sun is setting rapidly which means I'm gonna to have to hole up for the night again so far surviving hasn't been too hard there is no way I'm taking those guys on at this stage of the game there's another tree over here I might head up towards this catch up with us all again soon
Okay, so I'm really liking the terrain around here. We've got a redwood forest over there, birch forests over there. We've got some interesting mountain generation over this way. This is a kind of cross between a savanna and a desert biome called a Sahel or who knows how it's pronounced. There are what looks like tigers down there, there are elephants, a um, few of the giant redwoods over this way, some snow, a uh, very nice flat area down there which is tempting me quite a bit as well. Um, all sorts of things, big plains back over that way. I'll show you the map just to see where we've come through. So we've got this large plains area over here uh, and I spawned in down about here. Uh, so this is definitely looking really quite good. Quite a lot of variation and some quite attractive terrain. The only thing that I'm lacking at the moment is a uh, village so I think I might do a little bit of scouting around this area here and see what I can come up with so onwards okay I'm not sure how easily you can see it it's a little ways away and I'm not sure I want to get too close but over there we have what I'm guessing is a wyvern seems too small to be a dragon and I suspect it could be very dangerous but it does appear to be flying away now so I'm just gonna head on down here I found another village managed to um, get myself a little bit more armor still um, looking for a few bits and pieces so far things haven't been too bad which has been great uh, so let's just continue on and we might just go check this place out okay so I've got some company and uh, he poisons you and the only thing that's saving me is the fact that I managed to sleep under this tree uh, he also has a fairly decent reach so I'm not sure whether I can hit him without getting poisoned again we're gonna try but oh, go away pig you're the last thing I need right now. Oh, I can hit him. Thank goodness for that. If it wasn't for this tree, I'd be dead. I wonder if he drops anything. No, doesn't appear to be. Oh, a ground garden. Oh, I really, really want that. There's a chance I could get peanuts out of that. Anyway, I'm sure you're not that interested in my peanuts. Uh, so we will continue on considering I had the bad graces to not die for you. Hang on a sec. Okay, I finally managed to find enough cotton to hopefully get what I need. Only just barely though. Oh no, I get two. So I think that's enough. We'll keep the rest. So we're going to need another chest and see if I can remember the recipe. I think it looks like this plus the string gives us tier one bag and that doesn't hold a great deal but it's gonna make an awfully big difference to me right now so can I why can't I put that in there <laughs> okay what am I missing what is wrong with this bag I've never used baggins as before so I'm not familiar with how the mod works uh, I don't appear to equip it anywhere. No. And I'm assuming it doesn't go into the backpack slot there. So, alright. What does a tier 1 white bag hold? I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, it seems, because I can't seem to find anything that wants to go in there. 
That's a bit of a bother. All of that trouble to make something that I can't use. Alright, I'll look into Bagginses and find out a little bit more. Catch us again soon. We hates it. We hates it with a passion. Yes, the Bagginses mod. Uh, each different coloured bag has certain things that are whitelisted and only those things will go in it. So in the case of this one, Tinker's Construct. I've never understood it. I'm a bit of a collector. I hate throwing anything away. Um, and I've always struggled with the inventory size when it comes to Minecraft, particularly when you're playing modded Minecraft and you've got 60 billion things that you're carrying around. Uh, so bags and inventory options are fairly important to me and I've never understood the logic of making bags that are so limited that all you end up doing is carrying around a whole bunch of bags that fill up your inventory slots anyway and you've then got to open them all up to get into what's in them so it's just as painful as not having access to the stuff at all but anyway that's just one of my grumbles and we've been going far too long without me getting annoyed about something so I suppose it was overdue and on that note I shall continue on I've almost finished my exploration and I've got a pretty good idea I'm going to be setting up so I will see you there hopefully okay well I think I have decided um, I've had a pretty good look around so far and the spot that I was showing you a little earlier which is where I am back again now by far um, impresses me more than anything else does at the moment uh, we've got such a nice mixture I mean we've got the lions and the tigers and the wild boars and the elephants and all of that sort of stuff floating around down here looks like leopards or lynxes maybe as well um, some giant redwoods as I mentioned we've got the birch forest and all of the terrain I just love that redwood forest over there that looks so good um, so I think this is definitely going to be the spot nothing um, has stood out above this at this particular point in time uh, I'm going to have to do some terraforming and I think I will probably be taking advantage of the views and building a tower uh, so it'll be a big question working out what I'm going to build out of um, I could build out of sandstone but I'm not sure I really want to do that because I think it might blend in just a little bit too much and I think I want something that's going to contrast with the surrounding terrain quite a lot so we'll have to see it would be good to use uh, redwood because I've got a good supply of that available to me but I'm a little concerned about the fire issues uh, as far as setup is concerned well we're doing fine for charcoal redwood by the way in this mod pack um, gives you a really good return uh, you get four charcoal for each piece of wood so it's definitely worth grabbing early on in the piece to get yourself a supply of fuel uh, as far as food is concerned we're not doing too badly um, some things to be aware of obviously finding a village and getting carrots and potatoes are going to help because the potatoes you can eat as they are you can also bake them um, uh, mushrooms are always useful and they're growable fairly easily in the dark uh, we're definitely going to be focusing on uh, berries and jams and smoothies and all of those sorts of things because we do have access to snow close by and something else which is very important of course is the the wheat because that gives us the bread the bread can be used to make toast and the toast itself can be used 
to make toast sandwiches so <laughs> it's just extra toast but it's a different food group and its saturation and hunger is pretty decent for an early starting food so we should be able to keep this, the rotation going fairly well here with all of these things and once we get this these crops in will be a lot better so crops are probably going to go down there not going to have them close by um, and that's going to be one of my priorities uh, obviously I need to do some mining level up some tools um, go and visit the village over here which did have a smeltery if my memory serves me correctly I was sure I saw one yeah just in there there's a smeltery so I should be able to uh, harvest that um, and access to a little bit more food if I need it in the short term and uh, yeah we're gonna go from there so I'm gonna try and get re-established as quickly as I can and we'll see what ideas spring to mind as to how I go about doing things um, but anyway thanks for joining me it's probably going to be about an episode here once I put all the bits and pieces together knowing me it's probably going to go over time but we will see um, thanks for joining me again always a pleasure I hope you liked the episode and I look forward to seeing you all in the next one and until then Take care of each other, everybody, and ciao for now.